trying to Airbnb a house, ADU, townhome, condo, anything in San Diego right now in 2023 just got a lot harder. So there's been some major updates with the short-term uh, rental regulations. There was an ordinance that came out in 2022 that totally changed the game. So if you're trying to Airbnb any type of property, you're going to want to pay attention to this. I'm mainly recording this video because I wrote a huge 2,000 word guide on it and um, not everyone likes to read 2,000 words. So I'm going to just give you the quick highlights on what to expect if you're trying to Airbnb a house in San Diego or a property, ADU, treehouse, you know, whatever you're looking to do. So you do need three different things to get started as an Airbnb host. You need an active transient occupancy tax certificate. You need a rental unit business tax account number and then you can from there apply for your short term short term rental license so you need those two factors the tot and the rubt before you can apply for the str license um you'll and you'll see all these links for the city pages and the the government pages and for san diego are in the guide so definitely check it out if you're looking to apply and you want to find out where to get all these things and access all these um, access all of these applications. So once you go through that, you also need to decide what type of license you want or can uh, be eligible for. So there's four different tiers for short-term rental licenses now in San Diego. Um, tier four, unfortunately, already sold out. There's a wait list. There's a, sh there's a finite number of those. Same thing with tier three. It's not sold out, but there are a finite number and it is, it is limited to a certain amount. The reason um, that this is now come to be for um, the city of San Diego, they only allow up to 1% of the entire housing stock to be short-term rentals. So if there is 100 homes in San Diego, one of them, 1% can be an Airbnb legally. So that's why there's a cap on the licenses um, tier four is obviously the most popular one, which is why it's totally sold out already. There's a wait list for it. As of today, which is April 2023, there are 186 people on the wait list. So not guaranteed that you can get one. Um, tier three still has some. And then tier one and tier two are both unlimited. You'll learn why because we'll just kind of review um, the quick details of the tiers. So tier one, one of the most popular and easiest ones, but um, also not has some cons to it as well. So the highlights for tier one, if you're just unsure which tier, which license to go for, and you don't feel like reading through this long guide, um, the tier one short-term rental license is for Airbnb hosts that live, that don't, they don't have to live on the property. You don't have to live there as a primary residence. However, there is a maximum number of nights you can rent out the property, and that is 19 nights total per year. So if you're planning to rent it out for 19 nights per year short term, then you can go for that license. I assume not many people are getting into Airbnb because they only want to rent out a home for 19 months or 19 days, 19 nights, sorry. So again, probably not the most popular choice, but if you're just looking to get your feet wet, you can also apply for that and you'll probably get approved because there's an unlimited amount of those. Tier two is probably, um, at least with the available ones left for short term rental licenses, the most popular one in San Diego. So that one, um, <clears throat> you can rent it out as many nights as you'd like. You can rent it out for 365 days of the year. Beautiful thing, right? This can be a room in a house. This can be an entire house. This can be an ADU if the ADU is built before uh, September of 2017. All depends. But um, the catch with Tier 2 short-term rental license for San Diego is you must live on site. It must be your primary residence. So if it's a duplex, you have to live in one of the units. If it's a single family, you have to live in one of the rooms. Um, or if it's a single family, you have to live in the ADU in the backyard, or you can live in the house and rent out the ADU as long as the ADU again fits the criteria that San Diego has now released for their short-term rental licenses and laws. Um, tier three, there is a limited amount of these, but there are still some available as of today. Tier three short-term rental license for San Diego consists of, you can rent it out as many days as you'd like. We like that. You don't have to live on site. It doesn't have to be a primary residence. We like that too. So tier three is looking good. 
the so the tier three is probably the most popular one because of that there's unlimited amount of days you can rent it out and you don't have to live on site so if you have multiple houses you can rent it this is like what you do this is the one you go for um however it's harder to get because it is the applications licenses are given out via a lottery so you have to apply then get approved then get put into the lottery and then hope to get lucky because lottery involves luck so not guaranteed which kind of sucks one other con to tier three as well you have to each time you rent it out to a short-term guest it has to be at least a two night minimum stay so you can't do any one night stays tier one and tier two rental licenses you can do one night stays tier three you cannot and tier four doesn't even matter should i even go over it because there's a wait list for it that's crazy now just so you know um and the reason why there's a wait list these just went fast so the only exception to um well basically san diego the city has a favorite neighborhood that favorite neighborhood is mission beach for short-term rentals instead of limiting it to one percent of the housing stock can be short-term rentals if you're in mission beach it's 30% of the housing stock. That is pretty wild, big jump. So if you live in Mission Beach and there's 100 houses in Mission Beach, 30 of them, 30% can be short-term rentals. There are costs associated with each rental license. These can be found on the city website and on the guide below, but um, there's an application fee. It's between 25 and 70 bucks, depending on the tier. And then there's a license fee, which goes from $100 for the tier one up to $1,000 for tier three and tier four. So it depends on what you're going for. As you can tell by the price and the limited amount of certain rental licenses, tier three and tier four are the most prized possessions. Tier four is already sold out because everyone in Mission Beach can do, is allowed to do the short-term rentals. And tier three um, is a lottery. So it's just not everyone gets chosen even when they apply. Um, there's some exemptions to short-term rental licenses also, but ADU is a big question. So let's just review that quick. So if you have an ADU and it's in San Diego, um, if it was built before September of 2017, that's the special date, September, 2017, and you built it with the proper permitting, proper building permits, then you, it is eligible to be rented out as a short-term rental. You still need to apply. So for that one, if it's, if it's an ADU <clears throat> and you live in the house, even the primary residence, the main house on the property, you can just go for tier two. If you don't live on this property, you can rent out the single family home or whatever, the property and the ADU. You can rent both out um, with a tier three license, but you have to get approved um, and you have to win the lottery. Win the lottery, that sounds funny. You have to win the short-term lottery. Uh, so yeah, September 17, if you build a new ADU tomorrow or yesterday, can't rent it out legally as a short-term rental. San Diego's cracked down on that. Sorry, it does suck. Um, pretty big bummer. So, is what it is. Um, just some quick other tips on what you can can and can't rent out. So, condos and townhomes fall under the same rules that we've already reviewed with the different tiers and licenses. However, um, HOA is a big fat factor. Obviously, single family homes in San Diego, lots of them fall. You know, have an HOA too. HOAs can outlaw or just you know say that you can't rent out short term. So look into your HOA before you try to rent out a room or, you know, do whatever on Airbnb, VRBO. Other places, other units, this is a big crackdown too, other units that, other types of housing units that you cannot rent out on Airbnb or VRBO as short-term rentals in San Diego include, and these ones again, you cannot, this is a no, hard no, no exemptions, RV or camper, affordable housing, student housing, ADUs built before September 2017, tree houses, tents, garages converted with, um, without proper permits, shed, commercial units, boats. So a lot of RV camper people would rent out their things on Airbnb. Can't do that anymore in San Diego, unfortunately. You can in different cities in North County, but not, or in San Diego County, but not, uh, not San Diego itself, unfortunately. So that's a quick high level overview of what to expect this is the new new ordinance new ordinance short-term rental ordinance in san diego and um it's gonna hurt it's already hurt a lot of people who are doing airbnb for in their adus built recently or their rvs or whatever uh, and you know it's just it's they made it a lot tougher and now you have to apply for tier three with the license which sucks we have to apply for all of them but the lottery part makes it tough to get approved if you do not live on site which is when you would need a tier three so anyway let us know what questions you have. That's the most recent update as of April, 2023. Short-term rental license. If you want an Airbnb, a property in San Diego, that's what you got working with.